Hey there, little learners. Welcome back to our educational video for kids. Today, we're going to talk about something really exciting. Numbers. Yes, numbers. So let's dive right in and learn all about them. First, let's start with the basics. Numbers are a way for us to count and measure things. They help us keep track of how many apples we have, how tall we are, or how long it takes to walk from one place to another. Now, let's talk about some fun facts about numbers. Did you know that the number 11 is a special number? It's called a prime number because it can only be divided by one in itself. So, if you have 11 candies, you can't share them equally with 10 people. Another fun fact, the number 12 is also a special number. It's called a composite number because it can be divided by more than one in itself. So, if you have 12 candies, you can share them equally with 12 people. Now, let's talk about some number games. One game is called 20 Questions. In this game, you think of a number between 1 and 20, and your friend has to guess what number you're thinking of by asking you 20 questions. It's a great way to practice your math skills. Another game is called Guess My Number. In this game, you think of a number between 1 and 100, and your friend has to guess what number you're thinking of. It's a fun way to practice your addition and subtraction skills. Now, let's talk about some number tricks. One trick is called the magic number. In this trick, you think of a number, and your friend has to guess what number you're thinking of by asking you a series of questions. It's a fun way to practice your math skills and test your friend's guessing abilities. And finally, let's talk about some number jokes. Here's a fun one. Why did the number 11 go to school? Because it wanted to learn how to be a prime number. That's it for today's video, little learners. We hope you enjoyed learning about numbers with us. Remember, numbers are a fun and exciting way to learn and explore the world around us. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing. Hey there, little ones. Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to learn all about the fascinating world of animals. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that animals come in all shapes and sizes? Some are big, like elephants, and some are small, like ants. Some are fast, like cheetahs, and some are slow, like snails. Some are furry, like dogs, and some are scaly, like lizards. Some are loud, like lions, and some are quiet, like owls. But did you know that all animals have something in common? They all need to eat, sleep, and play. Just like you, animals need to eat food to give them energy, so they can play and do the things they love. They also need to sleep to rest and recharge, so they can wake up and play again. Now, let's talk about some of our favorite animals. Have you ever seen a lion? They're big, strong, and fast, and they love to play. They're also known for their roar, which is one of the loudest sounds in the animal kingdom. Then there's the elephant. They're the largest land animals on Earth and they love to play with their trunks. They're also very intelligent and can learn new things quickly. Next, we have the cheetah. They're the fastest land animals on Earth, and they love to play with their speed. They're also very agile and can turn on a dime. Now, let's talk about the slowest animal in the world. That's right, it's the snail. They're slow, but they're also very strong and can lift their entire body weight. Finally, we have the owl. They're quiet but they're also very wise and can see in the dark. So, there you have it, kids. All animals need to eat, sleep, and play, just like you. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they all have unique qualities that make them special. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you've learned something new about the amazing world of animals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Until next time, keep exploring and learning. Hey there, little learners. Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to learn all about the fascinating world of animals. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that animals come in all shapes and sizes? Some are big, some are small, and some are even tiny. But did you know that the smallest animal in the world is actually a tiny little insect called the fairy fly? This minuscule creature is so small that it's only about the size of a speck of dust. 
Now, let's talk about the biggest animal in the world. The blue whale is the largest animal on Earth, weighing in at a whopping 190 tons. That's the same weight as 30 elephants. Can you believe that? Another fun fact about animals is that some of them can fly, while others can't. For example, bats are the only mammals that can fly. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Some animals are even able to change their color to match their surroundings. Chameleons are famous for this ability. But did you know that some fish and frogs can do it too? Now, let's talk about some of the most amazing animals in the world. The panda is a real crowd pleaser, with its cute black and white fur. But did you know that pandas are actually bears? That's right. The penguin is another fan favorite, with its black and white feathers and waddling walk. But did you know that penguins can't fly? That's because they're actually birds, just like the albatross, which can fly for weeks at a time. The lion is another popular animal, with its mane and roar. But did you know that lions are actually cats? That's right. They're part of the big cat family, which also includes tigers, leopards, and jaguars. The elephant is another impressive animal, with its large size and trunk. But did you know that elephants are actually the largest land animals on Earth? That's right, they're bigger than rhinos and hippos. And last but not least, the giraffe is a tall and graceful animal. But did you know that giraffes have the longest legs of any land animal? That's right, their legs are almost as long as they are tall. Well, that's all for today, little learners. I hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing animals. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Hey there, little ones. Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to learn all about the wonderful world of animals. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that there are over 1.5 million species of animals on Earth? That's a lot, isn't it? Animals come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiniest insects to the largest mammals. They can be found in all sorts of habitats, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. Now, let's talk about some of our favorite animals. Did you know that elephants are the largest land animals? They can weigh up to 12,000 pounds. On the other hand, the smallest mammal is the bumblebee bat, which weighs only 0.0002 pounds. That's like carrying a piece of paper. Speaking of bats, did you know that they are the only mammals that can truly fly? They use their wings to glide through the air, and they're pretty amazing at it. Now, let's talk about some of our feathered friends. Did you know that the largest bird is the ostrich? They can grow up to 9 feet tall and weigh up to 350 pounds. On the other hand, the smallest bird is the bee hummingbird, which weighs just 0.002 pounds. That's like carrying a tiny speck of dust. Now, let's talk about our scaly friends. Did you know that the largest reptile is the saltwater crocodile? They can grow up to 23 feet long and weigh up to 2,000 to 100 pounds. On the other hand, the smallest reptile is the leaf-tailed gecko, which can fit on your fingertip. And last but not least, let's talk about our furry friends. Did you know that the largest mammal is the blue whale? They can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh up to 200,000 pounds. On the other hand, the smallest mammal is the Etruscan shrew, which weighs just 0.0002 pounds. That's it for today's educational video for kids. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the amazing animals on our planet. Remember, we all have a responsibility to protect and preserve our natural world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational content. Hey there, little learners. Welcome back to our educational video series for kids. Today, we're going to learn all about the fascinating world of animals. So, let's dive right in. Did you know that animals come in all shapes and sizes? Some are big, some are small, and some are just plain weird. But did you know that there's an animal that's even bigger than a blue whale? It's called the blue whale's cousin, the fin whale. Fin whales are the second largest animals on Earth, and they're pretty impressive. They can grow up to 85 feet long, which is longer than a school bus. 
Now, let's talk about the smallest animal in the world. It's called the kangaroo rat, and it's about the size of a ping pong ball. That's pretty tiny, isn't it? But did you know that there's an even smaller animal? It's called the bumblebee bat, and it's the smallest mammal in the world. It's so small that it can fit on a penny. Speaking of small animals, did you know that there's an animal that's even smaller than the bumblebee bat? It's called the pygmy shrew, and it's the smallest mammal in the world. It's so tiny that it can fit on a penny. Now, let's talk about the biggest bird in the world. It's called the ostrich, and it's about the size of a large dog. But did you know that there's an even bigger bird? It's called the cassowary, and it's about the size of a small horse. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? And last but not least, let's talk about the biggest reptile in the world. It's called the saltwater crocodile, and it's about the size of a small car. But did you know that there's an even bigger reptile? It's called the Komodo dragon, and it's about the size of a small car. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? That's it for today's lesson, kids. I hope you enjoyed learning about all these amazing animals. Remember, there's a whole world of creatures out there, and they're all unique in their own way. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow and subscribe for more fun and educational videos. Until next time, keep learning and exploring.